cinnamon sticks. These are really easy to make, but don't they look great? Fantastic for putting into um, sprays or wreaths, or if you want to decorate a Christmas themed cake, um, these guys are super easy to make. So I thought I would show you how to make them. To make our cinnamon sticks, we need some brown sort of teddy bear colored gum paste here. Let's give that a little bit of a knead. A rolling pin, a scalpel, and a little piece of wafer paper. And then just some water. We're going to make them and then we're going to dust and colour them afterwards. So I'll talk about the colours afterwards. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out this gum paste relatively thickly. Cinnamon stick, if you actually have a look at cinnamon bark, it is like bark. So you have that crackled, um, peeling bark effect on it. Um, so you, some of you may have done this before um, to create a bark effect on cakes, um, but this is the way to do it. If you brush water quite generously on top of your gum paste and then take your wafer paper and place it on top. And press that in. I want to make sure that that's really stuck and quite nice and wet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rolling pin and I'm going to start pushing and rolling down onto the gum paste. push and roll and as you do that you you're going to tear the wafer paper which is going to start to create that fabulous kind of crackled bark look okay so keep working on that until till you are happy you don't need to overdo it once you're happy with that just leave it for uh, five minutes or so to dry. I'm not going to do that because I just want to show you what we're going to do now. But we're going to, now we're going to cut our cinnamon sticks. I'm just going to loosely cut a rectangle. Just to get away all these bits. Pop that in the, over there. I'm going to make sticks that are about this big, I think. Okay. Probably just cut that in half. So you're wanting to make rectangles like this. And they don't all need to be, they don't all need to be the same size. Now, as I say, leave this for a moment or so because as, as it dries, the paper will crack more as you roll it. So what we're going to do, probably with a little bit of edible glue, just going to brush the inside. And then we're just going to roll. Now, when you roll, pinch and squeeze and what that will do is that will create more tearing which is good that's what you want okay roll that up this is where you need to be generous with the water to begin with and you can see that's created a lovely cracked effect now, cinnamon sticks are not regular, neat little rolls. You have bits coming out, you have the, um, where it's rolled and joined comes at an angle. If you've got any at home, have a look at them so you can see what I mean. So I don't mind if there's some tearing, if there's some buckling, it just adds to the, to the realism of it. So once you've rolled them up like that, you want to put them to one side to dry. Okay, so here is our now nicely dried cinnamon stick. You can see all our cracks and textures from where the wafer paper went on. Um, and now we just need to dust it. Um, I have used a range of browns really, um, from a sort of lovely deep chocolate 
to a woodland brown terracotta and also a little bit of autumn gold. Um, I like to always mix my dusts on a little bit of um, wax paper or, or grease proof. I'm going to start lightly. They have, cinnamon sticks have a sort of gingery, slightly gingery tone to them, which is why I've gone, added in this, this terracotta. But you can see I'm mixing the colours. I'm not going to put that on straight. It's just, uh, it's too harsh. I'm just going to mix that up. I'm going to give it a good old overall dusting. I'm going to bring in a little bit of this dark here. I'm going to accentuate the ends and sort of underneath where the bark ripples with a little bit more of this chocolate brown. I'm just going to work my way across until I'm happy with the colouring. And that is pretty much it. The only thing that I would say with, with, with these is that you do want to give them a light steam over a kettle. Um, or um, if, you've got a, if you've got a steamer, then that's great, use that. The reason being, you can see that I'm wearing gloves, is, is that if we don't steam the cinnamon sticks, when you come to use them um, on your displays, they're going to transfer dust. So just give them a light steam, just to, just to really lock that, lock that colour in. Now you can just see, I'm just going to add in a little bit more of that autumn gold just to match in with the ones that I've done already. And as I say, if you're not sure, use a picture as reference. Or well, if you've got some cinnamon sticks in the cupboard, your bakers, you probably do, wake them out, have a look. Okay. There we go. And that, as easy as that, are your cinnamon sticks.